project is titled um, Metric Cells, like towards planning like optimal plat paths towards um, for optimal paths for robots. Um, and so it's basically decomposing the configuration spell space of a um, robot in order to get at um, optimal paths. And robots, you can see them in the real world. They're in like a two or three D system. But um, it turns out when you look at all the degrees of freedom of a robot, uh, there's a lot to think about. So the configuration space, sort of the points in the configuration space represent all the settings for the robot. So for a robot arm, you have, you know, for a four joint arm, you have perhaps four degrees of freedom if it's a planar arm. Um, and so we look at that four dimensional configuration space and try to break it up into sections that are, um, you know, good for path planning and not so good for path planning. Like you might hit an obstacle if you do that. So. Um, using you know that representation to plan optimal paths was my thesis. I think since I was doing sort of computer science thesis, we had to code some of the ideas we were talking about, and uh, it'd come time like when we were trying to you know when I was trying to implement an idea before like meeting up and discussing how it went that you know, obviously usually wouldn't work <laughs> the first time. So um, lots of trial and error, working late into the night, but I guess that's kind of like the exciting thing about a thesis. It's something that you're doing, and it's like the responsibility is on you, so. so I worked in a research group. Um, so my advisor has a couple of grad students and also some other undergrads working in the lab. Um, and I guess like we had lab meetings and that was really fun getting to know a lot of people working on the same types of problems and also like some different problems as well. So, um, you know, being able to get sort of a breath, but also like seeing other people and being able to talk with other people about the same ideas if you're like stuck somewhere or, you know, if you're really excited by something, then, you know, you can share that and that's nice. not really in the library, but it was looking up papers on other things that um, researchers had done. Um, and so I guess, you know, a lot of um, searching online through, um, you know, being able to discern what are, you know, stronger papers than others and knowing, you know, which journals are very respected and, and looking at what sort of cutting edge was something that I had to learn because I hadn't really known, you know, that kind of thing before. How'd you learn it? Um, I usually identify a couple different papers and go to my advisor and be like, I think these are some cool ideas. And then, um, you know, he would pick out the ones that he was really excited by and say, you know, they're doing this. You know, maybe if we change it around, um, you know, this, it doesn't do this, but ours does. But it does, that algorithm does something that's like much better than ours. And being able to like learn that way is pretty cool. sure that you enjoy it and even if you end up not enjoying it all like all parts of it it's really important to realize that you know that experience is really worth it um, just because you know if you never if you don't do it then perhaps you would never know that it's not exactly what you want to do and just getting to know the entire spectrum of the research process um, is really valuable but you know try to enjoy it no matter what and um, just push forward and keep on trying out in California for a couple of years um, and then I'd like to ideally you know continue studying and, and I think I'm gonna use the next couple of years to figure out what I really want to do 